How's it going? So we're going to do a quick question called maximum depth of a binary tree. So in this question, our goal is pretty much uh, to find how deep a binary tree would be. Um, so let's take a real quick read on the question. Uh, given a binary tree, find its maximum depth. Simple enough. The maximum depth is the number of nodes along the longest path from the root node down to the furthest leaf node. A leaf node with no children. Okay, so that's just the definition of what a leaf node is. So you can imagine that it's almost like an inverted Christmas tree. Um, if you look at something like this, like for the, this binary tree, uh, the depth of it is like your level one here, level two, and then level three. So therefore your results is level three. So what are we gonna have to do uh, on this relatively easy question? Um, I think this is an important uh, question to go through because it really teaches you a little bit of a uh, little bit of recursion and a little bit of you know breadth first search and depth first search the concept. So in this case, uh, what we probably want to do is start from the root node um, and then look and pass in like check my left and then check my right um, and then see go check my left and right until to the point where. Um, I am on a null node, effectively. Um, so this question seems very recursive in nature. So let's try doing that. So our, one of the things that we must do is to make sure we go on every single node. So what I'm going to try to do is actually do a breath first, ah, can't pronounce the word, breath first search on this particular element. So let's do that. Um, so when we look at these questions, we I wanted to also give a little description. Since we're working with JavaScript, um, someone already they already created a you know a helper a helper class over here for, for us to use. So um, effectively, this is what we need to do. Let me just change this back to ES6 because I hate when they always default to the older way. Way so, boom 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 boom. Let's go. All right. So I'm gonna first of all create a constant that tracks the depth. I'll just call it the max depth right so initially my maximum depth is going to be at zero right okay cool now this is the where i you know um this is where the repeating nature comes because if you think about it uh, i'm checking this node um i would have my first action i need to check my left i need to check my right and i need to do the same thing once i go on my bottom node like for example if i'm on 20 what do i do i'm doing the same thing checking my left and checking my right the only difference is if I go reach to seven, okay, I need to check my left, and I need to check my right. So what's my left? My left is pretty much a null node, and also my right is a null node. So effectively, that is our exit condition, right? So in this question, we probably wanted to do something like that. So let's, I'm gonna call it BF breath first search, will equal to, I'm gonna pass the, the node that we're interested in, but that's not the only thing that we're interested in. And we're not just interested in going through all the elements, right? Our key point in this whole question is to track how how many levels um, can we dive deep, right? So I'm gonna put the word level here as something that we wanna keep track of. All right, cool. So like I said, what we wanna do here is uh, check your left. Well, I'm gonna call breath first search. I'm gonna pass the node.left because that's available in here. And I'm gonna call breath first search, search node dot right. And one of the key things to recursion is to have the exit condition, right? So our exit condition for this particular use case is if the node itself is equals to null. If my node is equal to null, then pretty much I'm gonna go and return. So it's not going to do anything. Great. So remember, we only we're not just passing the node itself. We also want to pass the level plus one. Level, level plus one. What does this mean by that? Is like, okay, just imagine this. On your first node, what do you have? You're passing the three node, right? You're going to three. You're diving deep. Your depth is zero. Great. Um, so what I'm going to do um, is to check my left. And my right, so my left node right here is going to be my 9, my right is going to be my 20, right? Um, and then because we're doing that, we're incrementing our initial level, which is, um, I'm going to call it 1. Um, so it will be at level 2. So what does this really mean? I need to actually start it out again. Um, 
because you, you don't just have to declare this, but this is just a function, right? We get to actually use it. So I'm going to BF, BFS, calling it, passing in the root node and giving an initial uh, level of that. So I'm going to return the max, max depth. Okay, one key element we want to note here is that as we go down and level, we want to check whether or not our max level, uh, if, if the level is greater than our max level, max depth, if that's the case, because of closure, that's one of the things I also want to uh, announce to everyone, or let me, people know is that because of closure, we actually have access to this particular value as we create the call stack, we call it. So uh, we're going to create this recursive call stack, but we still, beca because of closure, we still have access to this. So we can compare its local instance, local level to the depth, right? If this level is that, is maximum to that. So I'm going to make sure I upgrade max depth will equal to level. Great. Cool. So by doing this, um, effectively, we pretty much have the solution here, but let's go over it really quickly um, as an example so everyone understands it. So when we start off, right, we're given a tree, something like this, right? That's what we're given. But what we're really given is the root node that represents the tree here, right? So this is what we're giving and that's this is how they represent it, okay? So on the root node, we know that our this.val is going to be 3. Our left is equal to right, or, or in this particular case, our left is 9, and our right is 20. Oh, excuse me. Okay, cool. So you know your left is uh, 9 and right is 20. So I'm going to pass my first node in here, uh, which is the 3. Is that going to be no? No. Uh, is my level um, at the initial when I started out 1 greater than 0? Yes. Then I'm going to update this to 1, right? So now it's level one, and what do I do? I'm basically passing the nine, the left node, and, and calling it in the right node. So you can imagine when you're, when you're looking at the left node, um, you're basically looking at the same instance of calling this initial function, or what we did in the bottom here, right? You're passing your, your left node, um, so your node is still gonna be nine, it's still gonna be null, um, you're at level two now, uh, because it's level plus two, so your level is gonna be pretty much two, and you're gonna update the thing from the left first, um, and then you're going to start another, uh, like the left of the left. So in this case, left of the left is going to be null, right? Left of the, ah, right of the left is not is going to be null as well, right? So those two additional subsequent level three uh, conditions, those are nullified or, or they, they exit. So they didn't do anything, right? Um, and then once it, once you don't do anything, pretty much it, it returns back into a call stack. And then we have to resolve, resolve these stuff on the right. So. On the right side, 20, cool, you're going to dive deep, you're going to go to 15 and 7, and boom. You're pretty much on this level, you've already updated to level 3, and this solution, if we're correct, should give us the results. So let's let's try submitting it. Great, awesome, cool. So that's pretty much it. Um, I know, like I said, these, you know, don't get too caught up with some of the uh, understanding of, like, um, some of these solutions, like it, 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 it changes quite frequently for the milliseconds. For example, the same piece of code that I have here in, in Lee code, it could be judged off of like, um, I have the same piece of code here just to show you guys. It was like the 99th percentile and it's literally the same piece of code. So just to show you that, you know, Lee code, depending on the time of day you actually do the work, um, it could change your results. So don't get too caught up on that. Um, just know that you know you run you run a couple of times. I bet if I run it again right now, it's gonna give me a different results. Yeah, see, all of a sudden I become ninety two point three, right? It doesn't make sense. Um, but anyways, uh, the key concept you have to understand here is um, making sure that you understand recursion. Uh, make sure make sure when you have a recursive nature, you have to have an exit condition, um, and that's pretty much it. So, uh, if you have any questions or any suggestions for our next video, please make a comment and subscribe. Um, and then I'll continue on this series to um, hopefully grind through most of these uh, legal questions. Okay, thank you. Bye.